Hello everyone, we are in the middle of the action in scenario 23B, Until Death. And oh boy, is it a big one. We got necrophages over here, we got demon zeppers over here, we've got some drones, we've got some other nasty stuff around the place, and all these leaders have the obscures effect which means that chaotic units are better so that I mean given that we are currently deep underground it shouldn't make any difference unless except it probably neutralizes Alinea's aura which is indeed an irritating thing so all right first step would be to try and take out one of these leaders and Alkashar and Elinia can both can each reach one. If I hit him with a Union, you've got 65 hit points. What are, the, what are your resistances like? Okay, you're weak to Arcane. Well, that's cool. I have slight concerns about doing this. And my spectres are on the wrong side to attack the Shadow Courier, unfortunately. Because if they could get in there, unfortunately, for some reason, the Shadow Courier is incredibly hard to hit. And it needs to go down. Or at the very least, if it doesn't go down, it needs to get pretty badly owned. Um, there are so many units here, it would be nice to stay back and stay out of their range, but this one at least is going to be able to range anyone who gets on this side of the courier. I have to move them both, so I don't think undo will be an option here. However, you guys are much more likely to hit the Chaos Lawkeeper. How are you doing for resistances? Oh, you're also weak to Arcane, that's good. So I think then the strategy will be... I can't quite get you both in there. It's th so I think the strategy will be to put Valkesha here. Put Elinia here and hope that the union works, two hits should be all, almost enough. Now Alenia is going to get brutally battered by this, probably. Yep, that was pretty nasty, but now I can finish this one off with fire. Well, maybe let's just see how it goes on the other flank. Because here on the other flank, we've got to kill the Chaos Law Keeper. We've got Spectres to do that. Can't get around that way. But this seems like a good spot. What about the Zephyrs? You've got 50% to hit them. Maybe I'll get Gallus in. See if Gallus can get his drain and slow, and then see how much damage we need to do. Okay, we've got more drones around, and the drones are not going to waste time. All right, that was just um, that was just one hit, which is which is bad. Uh, you can now not get around. You can get around though. Kill. Lots of enemy units visible. So many drones here. Good lord, so many drones. Okay, and these drones are going to come and attack me. That was pants. Okay, um, this isn't great. This makes it pretty unlikely for me to kill the Chaos Law Keeper. All I need, all I need, it's so close, all I need is two hits.
two hits from a spectre. Come on! Yeah! Thus, you have sealed your fate! Ah! Oh. And you're almost at a level. And I would like you to go over and finish on Lila off, but you can't, so instead I will try and let this forest spirit do it. More drones, many more drones. I'm gonna get so heavily hit by drones next turn. Oh. Go on! Destroy the container of my soul if you must! As long as your Raya exists, I can be brought back! Okay, you're close to a level. That's cool. If enough people suicide on you, it might be might be cool. Right, now... I can't do anything about the influx of drones I'm going to get. But what I can do is try and eliminate some of these units that are still knocking around. You can't range... Oh yeah, you can range people up there. Unfortunately, this side is a little bit nearer to... The Master of Darkness's base. So I'll try and get you with a Spectre. Good. Someone else coming here? You're so fast you can go all the way around and kill this one, and then at least only one. Zephyr will be around. Oh. Meanwhile, you back here. Can you kill this? This is only a necrophage. It's not the nastiest of undead opponents. Okay, 30 damage. And we can let Erethan do a bit more, hopefully without getting poisoned. I think the bow is the better option here. Good, and then you come here. Okay, all my units have moved. There, I'm going to get counterattacked by some drones, I'm going to get counterattacked by imps, ray blades, you name it. Uh, and there is but on these, on the black player's side, there is, well, I was going to say there's only this one, but there's, there, these two are both on the black player's side. Either way, it doesn't matter what colour the players are. What matters is I just killed a lot of units and hope I survive this turn. So yellow is going to pile in. And that player makes a somewhat weird decision to attack. You go. So many drones, so much poison. Even Gallus gets poisoned. Oh, not you too! Oh man! Another one? Why did it have to come to this, my beloved Alinea? Why must we face each other as enemies now, after spending so many thousands of years apart? Oh, right! Are you saying I shouldn't take all the attempts on my life by your subjects as a sign of hostility? Or that I should allow you to continue this new, pitiful existence of yours? You say that as though you have not let that mediocre necromancer become an ally and friend of yours. Is his existence in undeath 
not far more pitiful than mine. My body was not just rebuilt, but also improved. I can understand your distrust of this new form of technology, but no one will force you to change your beautiful body if you don't wish to transcend its limitations. As long as you devote your life and soul to our one true goddess. Exactly who are you calling mediocre, you miserable piece of... If this goddess of yours truly cared for all life on Herdia, she would not be using you to destroy it. Are you not the Chaos Emperor? Did you not command your legions to raise and desecrate the earth? How can you how can you speak as if all this destruction were for the greater good? If only you could understand the ineffable designs of our goddess, my love. If only you allowed me to show you the way. so much poison okay and we've got a spectre here I'm not the only person with spectres in this campaign um, so the spectre is gonna come out um, this orangey yellow color is really cool uh, <laughs> we got shadow spawn they're not terrifying um, they're not the invisible ones we've got ghost we've got a machine we've got a mechanical Goliath they're kind of nasty we've got a ray um, I kind of feel like the appropriate strategy is for these guys on this flank to just retreat a little bit and hopefully get out of range some of the nastier units. Um, on this flank, I mean, I'd rather not retreat on this flank. There are a lot of drones, there's not much else. No one else can reach them. But my units are very poisoned. They, they are maximally poisoned. So I really ought to probably just kill the most threatening and leave the rest to their own devices. And to me the most threatening is still, despite everything, this Demon Zephyr. And that was a perfect strike there from Deffy. Love it. Can I get Igor over to this house? Would that save him? No. Um, uh, these two, these two sentry drones. I'd need a lot more perfect strikes to be rid of to be rid of them. Maybe I'm going to need to sacrifice someone. Maybe uh, I don't want to sacrifice a spectre. I can't see many other ways out of this dilemma. Because I really don't. Uh, Malka Shar, if he can reach that spot, he can recruit more troops. I'd forgotten about that. That might that might give me what I need. Let's see if. Let's try and hold ground here. Uh, no, I did. I can't... I can either cure poison or I can kill people, but I can't really do both. Hmm. I could kill you with three hits, let's try it, and maybe Blady will go down. Not dead. Pity. Galas, you stay where you are. Now that you're slowed, at least. Now that you're poisoned. You can't get double poisoned. that spot where Erethan is? Can't quite see. I think you probably can. You should be able to, there's no reason you shouldn't. Okay, well in that case, Erethan... Oh, 
dubious marksman. You do this. You come back here. Now can I recruit with Galas on this castle? It's just occurred to me that I probably can. Oh yes, I can. Okay, but I can only recruit absolute trash. So actually, that means that my strategy here was bad. I shouldn't really have tried to, to defend over here. But oh well. So you out, you're now you're now at 67 hit points. And I can even bring you over here so that you can heal up. You're gonna come back here. Uh, a couple of drones still might still be able to get Igor from this position. And even if they don't, they might kill my Shide. Should I go all in with Malkeshar? No, because if I do, Malkeshar will get himself killed. I mean, honestly, the only one sensible thing to do here with Malkeshar is to put him here. But I can recruit trash with Galas. And I can put the trash in places where it will block these drones. So let's do that. I'm going to get... I've got 320 gold, which is very nice. Um... And now everything here does a ton of damage, so should I get things that are going to survive? I mean, it doesn't seem like, it doesn't seem worth it, really. Seems like the only thing that's going to be useful against drones is going to be ghosts, and the only thing that's going to be useful... Can I? No, I can't recall. Dang, I've got so many veterans sitting back at home. Well, I'll have the ghosts. and one here too to protect the spectre. That'll do as far as recruiting goes for now. Might be the end for Blady. And... Yeah, you guys are all now blocked. Um, but So now Igor is protected as long as everyone else survives. Okay, but this is going to hurt. No two ways about it. And I'll be lucky if I survive the fight. Every day and every night without you has been a nightmare. Nightmare would end tonight. But no, you had to choose the path of the infidels. And on top of that, you had to choose him of all creatures. A lowly, mundane elf of the forest with no remarkable qualities whatsoever. How dare you, of all people, appeal to jealousy now after all we've been through? And in any case, he is nothing but my friend. And at this point, you can catch the moment on camera where Galas's heart breaks. Oh. It's not true, though. It's not true. All right, a blue player comes in, just as if I didn't have enough nasty shit to deal with. Ah. 
RP Blady, the bladiest of my spectres. The, the, actually, the, the most veteran of all my spectres. Um, and now Deathy and the other one, Slashy, will have to hold the fort without you. This is sad, sad times. <sighs> okay, still not easy, still not easy. I can't, I, I haven't aggroed the Master of Darkness himself. Um, but there are still a lot of units around here, and presumably the brown ones, being drones, are going to respawn. So I need to con concentrate on killing stuff that isn't brown. Which really is easier said than done, <laughs> given how many powerful creatures they have around here. Um, it would be nice, I would, you know, I'm quite tempted to use a linear for this purpose, but... Uh, <sighs> Seems like Elinia and her friends need to stay in this back corner. So first of all, I'm going to try and take out this sentry drone. Two hits would do it. There. Shame you're weakened, because it only means that someone will go for you next turn. And then you guys need to all back up a bit. Because it looks like up here we are at least moderately safe, at least if no one stands there. And then kill what's on the front lines. Uh, everything here can reach me too. Galas, don't go anywhere just yet, I need to recruit more ghosts. So I'm gonna have to run interference with these weaker units. Do some draining on these imps. Good. Maybe even kill it. Yeah! Alright, get some more ghosts. Uh, everyone's blocked from going between you. Poor old Erethan is looking like an absolute train wreck. Um, would be nice, actually, if I could back up into this corridor and uh, hold everyone off here at the gate. Could try it. The only person who can't get there this turn is the forest spirit. Yeah, all right, I'm going to do that. It will cause me to take lo a few, you know, not nearly as many losses if I play it like that. Okay, I'm going to save a bit of gold, just in case I get to do this again. One more castles, one more normal castles worth of units. Um, these things, I believe, these, these gems, I don't know if they're story gems. Um, they might even be healing gems. Wouldn't that be something? Alright, who's furthest away and hardest to move? Kesha. So you plonk your ass there. And Alinea, you come here. You're behind. You go at the back because you're going to die otherwise. Um, and Lethrode, you might also be sacrificed if I do this, but I can actually, you know, it's it's not that implausible that they won't, they won't prioritize her, given how hard... That was rubbish. At least wants to kill the Rayblade. Alright, you hop back. You hop back behind here as well. Galas, you need to be unpoisoned, and then the spectres, by default, will then take on the front line, where uh, they have to be careful not to be killed. Alright, let's see how this goes. That's a slightly disadvantageous position, just simply because the four of them can attack three of me. But, you know... These ghosts are currently doing a good job of blocking.
ghost on ghost action. They're not going to leave it, and a ghost with experience is a dangerous foe. to draw power from me and into the Lich to gain control of the Union was quite ingenious. I would never have expected any less from you, my love. Still, I fear that I must revoke your magic privileges before anyone else gets hurt. Ah! He's reaching into my mind! Marlin. I cannot control my body! You people surely would not murder your own allies, right? Ah! Get out of, of my head! I really do not want to do this to you, Alinea. And I am sure you would be unable to live with yourself if your friends were to perish because of one single misguided choice. I offer you one more chance to accept Uriah as our true protector. Never! Do you really believe I would choose two people over the fate of Erdium? Who do you take me for? Okay, I now have to use Alinea to destroy Malkeshar. That's interesting. Malkeshar cannot die at the hands of any other unit. Alinea is not in a great position to be doing much of anything at the moment, uh, given her health. And as for Erethan, what am I going to do about him? I, I kind of feel like, I kind of feel like I just have to kill him at this point. And he's come with me all this way. But literally the victory condition is use a linear to kill Mel Melkesha, and I can't lose Ledinor. Um, Alright, so you guys who are at the back, hopefully, can deal. Uh, you're a little bit weaker, but you won't get killed by him, even if you don't take him down. <laughs> So this is the end of the road for me. You came all this way, I shepherded your useless ass all this way, I gave you upgrades, magic items, and and now you die like this. <laughs> well, <laughs> I am not impressed. Let's see. Okay, um, I want to get the better of this magical battle, but I think it's not quite enough for the kill, so... First of all, I'm going to let Slashy the Spectre take a crack at it. That was pants. Um, how many hits would I need? Um, 36, 72. Still need 4 hits out of 5. I'm not confident in getting that. I'm going to send some ghosts back. Like this one that's already almost dead. Two hits I need. Alright, you did your job. Elenia, three hits out of five for me, please. In fact... 32, 54... If I can do another 13 damage, that would just be one more... One more ghost. That would be enough. 
enough for Linear to do it with two, and I'd be much more secure with that outcome. Gonna, throwing away ghosts like nobody's business to do this. Sorry, now it's three. Now it's now it's only three hits that I need. Yeah, good thing I didn't try it before. 36, 54, three hits. Go, Alinea, go. One, two. Perfect. Oh, the sweet, cold embrace of death. It has been far too long. Our foolishness allowed the Warlord to take one of our friends away from us. But I will not let you take advantage of us again, Argan. Not today. No, this light I cannot. Stop her. No more fooling around. I... I recognize that voice. Malkesha... Is he... gone? If he truly is as powerful as he likes to make himself out to be, there might be a chance his soul is still intact. But whether it will return to his body, You made a fatal mistake in coming to Inferno, Elinia. As long as you are in the same realm as I, I too can use the Union against you. Then one of us must die first. Truly, it is a magnificent power. It is a shame that you will not surrender it to me willingly, Lady of Light. All right, objective is now to kill Argan, and Elinia is the only one who can do that. Elinia is a bit weakened, not too bad. She can use the Union without Malkishar if she is adjacent to Argan, but doing so puts her at risk. Still deep underground. Um, so I want to plonk you here so that everyone else heals up. Can't really move. I don't want you to be on the front line because you'll take a ton of damage. Hmm. This is tricky. I could just park you here as a ghost. I, now that I have so few ghosts, um, and I think rightly so, that was worth doing. Having Malkishar not die there would have been extremely irritating. Um, if I just park you here, then you should be able to at least tank some damage before they get through to squishy Alinea at the back. Uh, there are several nasty things floating around here. And the other ghost, I'm just going to summon to the back. Whew, all right, this scenario is truly, truly a brutal, brutal experience. And given that now my objective is just to kill this massive dude, who's on more health than he was before... Well, I guess we'll find out. Erethan's down. In the Spectre Wars, my Spectre has a disadvantage. piles in behind. <laughs> As if I wasn't in enough shit. Ultimately I would like to step one step backwards. I think now is probably just not the time. 
time to do it. Um, I think what I need to do now is use a linear to kill this shadow spawn. And then probably I need to put Lethrid A in front so she can take out... Well, no. What else I could do is this. Because unless I completely fudge it, I should get the kill. And then Deathly will be on 45 hit points. How much damage will you do against a Spectre? Probably the same as against a Wraith, which means 5 times 5. It's got 23 health. I can help it along with a ghost or with someone else. Yeah. Alright, Deathy goes up a level. Galas is going to come to the front lines as well, I think. If I can't get five hits with the Forest Spirit, um, who is definitely the most vulnerable part of this equation. Hmm. Should I put her somewhere else? Should I put Gallus here? No, because Gallus can also get pretty badly beaten up. So I'm going to try it. Ah, no, she's dead. She's dead. She takes all three hits. Um, and Gallus will only get this kill if he manages to if he manages to hit with all three ranged attacks so that's not a good bet it's a good bet I need to use Ledinor who's very much more squishy over here and there are still some insanely powerful units could put Slashy out front Slashy could probably take out this gut wrencher imp and that would put me under a lot less immediate pressure but I still don't think I'll be able to save Lethrid either, and then I'd be losing two powerful veterans. Could put this ghost out front, and then this spectre at least would be aggroed, probably to attack the ghost. Let's see if that sacrifice was worth it. Let's see if I don't lose this turn. Ah, every turn I'm in danger of losing here. I don't think it really. I don't think there really is any other way. I mean, to be honest, I have played this scenario before, but I don't think... I, I, every time I've played it before was on a slightly lower difficulty, and every time I've played it, I believe I've never been able to complete this particular scenario without save scumming massively every turn. So, <laughs> this is definitely my best performance so far. Oh, that went poorly. Good job at not killing it. And they didn't touch the forest fairy. Interesting. I don't have any backup though. There are more and more Verlish, and they are coming for me. My troops are gradually getting healed, but it is gradual. Need someone with arcane to take out this spectre. Probably the best bet is Elinia herself, but I think when they see her, they might get the scent for blood. <sighs> Challenging. Can you get the gut wrencher in? You won't kill it, not like that. And you, if you stay standing there, you're probably going to die too. I guess it's just a risk we'll have to take. Alright, good. Lots of drones back here as well. Looks like they've at least stopped recruiting anything new. I could ignore the spectre this turn and uh, just kind of hope for the best, or maybe just shoot it with ranged attacks. No, ignoring it is more, more effective than that, ignoring it and gaining health. Um, you kill this weak spectre, because if you don't, 
I'm going to die anyway. Weak imp, sorry, not weak spectre. Anth. Alright, you're dead. And now, the remaining yellow units, uh, there's two, the three extremely nasty level three units, and some weaker level one units. And then there's all these level two blue units floating around. There's also this sentry drone, and presumably some of these other drones are going to respawn in a second too. No! Oh, that was looking good for a moment, but no, I lose another veteran. Okay, everyone's healing, gradually. Galas has a good shot against this guy, because even though this guy probably, would, you know, on average would do more damage, he is almost dead, and if I can slow him, it would be good, a good bet. Yeah, like that. Perfect. Gah, Alinea, your chance to go on the front lines, show what you're made of. Deathy, you dish out some death this time rather than taking it. Or just miss four times. In this situation, that's not ideal. Got two non non expendable heroes here on the on the back. Are they gonna try and gang up on Galas? Yeah. Oh no! And yellow's got more money, so yellow's hiring new units. Blue's coming in. Actually, my saving grace so far, the only reason I haven't died entirely, um, is honestly just literally only the fact that my units haven't killed as much as they perhaps otherwise could have done. Okay, and we're going to try and kill the mechanical Goliath with Galas. I think that's probably... Galas is nearly dead, um, and if he gets too meleeed, it's going to be the end. So he should probably step back, and, and Alinea, to be honest, should as well, because I'm going to need her. But no one other than those two is really any good at fighting the mechanical Goliath, unfortunately. Should I just... This is this the opportunity to step everyone back one step? I probably should have done that earlier. Yeah. And I can put Ledinor down here. And I can put the two spectres on the front line. And see how long this particular alignment lasts. Not very long if things like that keep happening. Ah, oh, nuts. Got to keep the Verlish alive. Sorry, got to keep the Spectres alive. If nothing else, for the reason that the Verlish are. Uh, they deal cold damage, and uh, the Spectres are fairly good against that. Look, at least I can always heal them a decent amount every turn. But, Ledinor, you cannot. Eagle, can you get this thing in one? No, not quite. You can get it in two, though. Good. 
Kaboom! And you just kill the Rayblade. Ideally with whales. No, that missed. Oh, well, that's bad. Okay. Still more units coming. No turn limit, interestingly, in this campaign. Yeah, that's not a fight that... Uh... Oh, come on, you can get some hits. Nearly killed blue, yellow's still going, there is... <laughs> There's... There's brown units back here, but, um, I mean, they're not they're not really relevant as yet. They've, all the drones have respawned, of course. So am I actually making any headway? Um, it's hard to say. I have lost... Uh, well, I've lost Malkeshar, who's one of my most powerful units. Uh, I've lost a veteran... I've lost two veterans, and I've lost Erethan. So yeah, probably not what you would want out of this scenario playthrough. Down goes a linear. Let's stall these guys out. Everyone else stay where you are. Okay, Yellow just recruited, I think, two extra units. If, if they can do that every turn, then I'm pretty much boned. damage. Especially not with Shadow Spawn out here. They've only got impact attacks, but I can't drain them. Okay. Keep. Stay where you are, everyone. Over. Yeah, I lose another veteran, and now I've outflanked. Honestly, with two of my three spectres dead, I don't think I can come back from this situation, but let's just try. You can't fail! Oh, of all of the things I expected, that really wasn't it. Absolutely dismal combat performance there. Okay. 
Well, I'm stuck in this corridor. Um, more Verlish keeps spawning. The Shadow Emperor keeps summoning more dudes at the rate of two per turn. And even if I don't lose, which obviously I eventually will, I don't. I definitely don't have enough forces to pu push out through this blockade. So. I think I'm going to call it a night. This is my first attempt at the scenario uh, until death. And I think I might go back to my old strategy of save scumming it, because I don't see any way of playing it any better than I just did. Uh, you've been watching Cyber Neuro Druid. This has probably been a big waste of your time. Please like, comment, and subscribe, of course. Bye, everyone.